If you go out in the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. Something scary, trippy and spooky, you won't believe your eyes. Hi, I'm Danny Quinn, and welcome to the newest episode of First Impressions. On today's episode, I tackle the new British horror film, The Ritual. The film revolves around a group of friends who are on a hiking trip in Sweden in order to honour the memory of their dead friend, who had suggested the trail as a holiday. However, one of them ends up injuring his leg during their travels, and they decide in order to try and get back to civilization as quickly as possible, they have to take a shortcut through the woods. And they soon discover the hard way that some shortcuts are best not taken. Now sometimes whenever a film comes out, I'll go into it completely blind. I won't see any trailers, I won't read any reviews, I won't even look up what the movie is about. And that was pretty much what I did with The Ritual. All I knew about it going in was that it starred Rafe Spall, that it was about a group of friends who ended up trapped in a creepy forest, and that it was called The Ritual. And that was pretty much about it. And having just seen the film, I gotta say that I'm pretty impressed. The film does a good job at building suspense and tension, even when there's nothing directly threatening our main characters. There's always a lingering feeling of dread as they traverse through these woods. And I know woodlands can be a pretty cliched setting for a horror movie, but I gotta say, I've always had a bit of a soft spot for movies that make use of this setting. And the directing is fairly solid throughout. Imagine to create a feeling of isolation and entrapment within the ominous setting. And there's a great sense of atmosphere throughout the film. There's also a lot of really strange and bizarre sequences that make you feel like you're in some kind of weird nightmare. It really adds to the sense of paranoia that prevails throughout the movie. But easily some of the most effective moments of horror in this film come from what you don't actually see on screen. There's a lot of moments where you might hear somebody screaming from off camera, or you might hear something, but you never actually see it. And you're forced to use your imagination. The only real issue with the horror in this film is that there are a few cheap jump scares here and there, but they're mostly few and far between. The film has a very small cast of characters, mostly consisting of the four friends, and while none of them are particularly fleshed out, they're still well written enough that you grow to like them, for the most part at least. And I also really like the banter between them as they traverse through the woods. While the dialogue and slang might be a little lost on viewers outside the UK, it does help to establish the camaraderie between the characters. But beneath the jokes and banter, there's a genuine sense of animosity among the four friends that stems from their bereavement, and that gradually unravels as the movie goes on. Much of this is viewed through Rafe Spall's character Luke, who was with their former friend the night that he was killed. And you can tell that this incident really affects him, it sort of spills into how he interacts with his friends. He has a strong feeling of guilt, and he believes that the other four friends hold him responsible for what happened. So whenever he and his friends start having these strange nightmares, he imagines the woods almost as like this off license where his friend was killed, but I find these scenes to be more weird than actually scary. Because much of the movie is viewed from Spall's perspective, we never really figure out what goes on in the other three friends' nightmares, and they do largely feel like they're playing second fiddle. The ritual feels like a movie of two halves. The first half's a real slow burner with a lot of tension and psychological horror, and in the second half we get more into the surreal and the sacrificial elements of the film that the title hints at. And it's this aspect that I think will really make or break the movie. Some will probably be on board with it and find it a satisfying payoff, while others will probably find it an underwhelming conclusion to what came before. I personally fall somewhere in the middle. It's entertaining and satisfying to a certain extent, but it really does come out of light of field and the climax is insane to say the least. It doesn't exactly help that the sacrificial element in the movie feels a little bit tacked on. At times it seems like the filmmakers couldn't decide whether they wanted to make a straight up sacrificial cult movie or more of a psychological horror about grief. And the resultant film feels like a strange mix of the two. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just feel like they could have maybe handled the shift in tone a little more smoothly. This movie is based on a book which I admit I haven't read so I'm not really sure if the tonal shifts are handled better in the book, but in the film it does feel a little distracting and it does end up cancelling out some of the psychological horror that the movie is really good at. But despite this, I did enjoy The Ritual overall. It's a fairly solid horror film, it's well directed, has good atmosphere, it's very well acted, it's suspenseful, it's tense, the characters are likeable, some great chemistry between them as well as some top-notch banter. It gradually begins to fade away as the paranoia and distrust that divides them begins to unravel. But the film is a little bit unsure of itself. It doesn't know whether it wants to be a psychological horror or a sacrificial cult movie. And I think the second half will definitely divide viewers over whether not they actually like it. That and even at 90 minutes, the film's pacing can feel a little sluggish at times. Nevertheless, on a scale of 0 to 10, I'm going to give The Ritual a 7 out of 10. If you're into weird horror movies or you just want to see a good scary film over Halloween, I'd recommend this one. It's definitely worth checking out. So The Ritual, have you seen it yet? If so, what did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? 
What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Did you find the shifts in tone a little less jarring than I did? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back soon with videos on Geostorm, The Snowman and Thor Ragnarok. But in the meantime, feel free to like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. If there's anything I can do to improve my presentation, let me know. I can also be found via Twitter, Facebook, email and Instagram. And until next time, I'm Danny Quinn and I hope you have a pleasant evening.